their own heart rate monitor, their own bike computer, probably one of, if not the best, smart trainer. This actually could turn out to be the worst unboxing video ever if it's not what I think it is. Says it's 60 pounds, but there's no way it's over 59. Two weeks, two weeks I've been waiting to get this shipment and I'm stuck in traffic. Two weeks. Morning, Trainiacs. Hi. <laughs> I do a YouTube video. Every okay. Day. Yeah. Training purposes. <laughs> okay. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> that, that's mine. Oh, oh yeah. I'm like, why did they Yeah, why did they just put it there? Yeah, why? Like someone can just yeah, have it. People will just walk away with it. Yeah. That's not very safe. <laughs> it's called Triathlon Terran. So it's about triathlons. Oh, yeah. It's a sport where you swim first, oh, yeah. and then you bike, and then you run. All oh. back to back to back. says it's 60 pounds, but there's no way it's over 59. Oh my goodness. How do I get out? <laughs> Smooth like a fox. Alright. Oh, it's heavier from that side. Oh my god. Now I'll be damned if I'm gonna wait until I get home to open this. See now, waiting until I'm not in the back of the Kia would just make far too much sense. All right, what we've got here, I believe, I believe, this actually could turn out to be the worst unboxing video ever if it's not what I think it is, is a Wahoo Element Bolt bike computer and a Wahoo Kicker bike trainer. Wahoo Fitness! We have a Wahoo Ticker X heart rate monitor with motion and memory. We have a Wahoo Element Bolt bike computer. Oh yeah. And Wahoo water bottle. Z. Wahooed up from the feet up. Oh yeah. Wait till you get a load of this. The Wahoo Kicker Smart Bike Trainer. Hell to the low. Okay, now that I can say with full confidence what it is, I'm gonna actually get home before I start pulling this all apart. Yeah. Okay, so all of this came about back at Interbike. I originally went to do just a podcast with Chip Hawkins, which I'll link to down in the description. Apparently it was awesome. I know it was awesome because Chip gave the entire history of how he founded Wahoo just a few years ago and how he thinks that it's grown into the leading smart trainer, basically the leading company that is out there doing bike trainer and metrics tech out there right now. So I was just gonna spend about an hour with them. I ended up spending three hours because I like the gang, the company, their philosophy, hearing about how innovative they are and how they solve problems. And they basically just started with this little, little key that would go into the bottom of an iPhone and it would read all the data from all of your Ant Plus devices. Now, they invented their own heart rate monitor, their own bike computer, probably one of, if not the best, smart trainer out there, and their own water bottles. And after hearing about it, they said, hey, do you have any companies that are sending you out bike tech? And I was like, well, no, not really. I've been a Garmin person my entire time. My bike trainer is a Kirk Kinetic rock and roll because I wanted that side to side. But what I've been finding with a lot of the tech and specifically the trainer that I'm using is that it isn't keeping up with the current tech of today. Sure, I could use the Kirk Kinetic rock and roll with things like Trainer Road or Zwift, but it's not made for it. If you look at something like Zwift, their number one recommended trainer is the kicker. And the reason for that is because Wahoo is developing things, I think, many years down the road, they're looking to the future. And when they said, hey, Taryn, can we send you out some stuff? I'm like, heck yes, you can, because A, I know it's really good. B, I know that it's gonna be future-proof. C, I can basically use it with 
all the tech that I want to test out there. So let's do some opening. The Wahoo Element Bolt is, is competing with my bike computer right now, the Garmin 520. Now the Garmin 520, I'm not a big fan of right now because here we are just one year, I wanna say, into owning the Garmin 520 and the battery life is already so brutal that I can barely get through a three and a half hour ride. The Wahoo Element Bolt is what my pal DC Rainmaker recommended while we were in inner bike. It would be the most direct competitor to that Garmin 520. However, just knowing that it works with all the Wahoo family of stuff, which I now have more of, I am glad to switch to the Bolt as opposed to the 520. So in the box, we have the Bolt. We have a bike handle mount. We've got a mount to zip it onto the stem, which will help in my case because I don't have room to mount this out front with the tri bike. So this will go on the stem and it'll lock in there. We got a charger, product info, and a quick start guide. Love that sound. So now let's take an old gander at the Ticker X heart rate monitor with motion and memory. Outside box, inside rattly thing. Got your main unit, which does the reading, your strap, more product information, and quick start guide. And what's really interesting about this is that when I was in Kona, I was actually seeing people doing their workouts using this Wahoo Ticker X as their main heart rate monitor system while they were using somebody else's watch. So what does that tell you about this? Now, last on the list, the piece de resistance, the Wahoo Kicker Direct Drive Bike Trainer. And what is meant by direct drive is that you don't mount your rear wheel onto the trainer. You actually take off your rear wheel and you mount the chain of your bike onto the cog set and the cassette that is on this trainer. It results in more accurate power because you don't have slippage on the tire. It also results in a more natural feel because you don't have that ee, 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 ee. It also results in a much quieter ride because you don't have that ee, ee, ee. And if you're on a wind trainer, you don't have that turbine breaking all the wind. It's basically just the turn of the cassette and the chain. Oh, I think we're gonna have a lot of parts. We got a plug, power brick. The trainer, holy jeez, that is heavy. Okay, I wanna show off a few things about this trainer that are indicated on the box. Now they say bring the road indoors and what Wahoo is looking to do is make the most realistic indoor riding experience that you can possibly have. And their commitment to that is just the recent announcement of the Wahoo Climb. And that's the unit that pairs with this Wahoo Kicker that actually your front forks mount into. And as you're riding something like Zwift, it actually lifts your front fork up and down and increases the grade of your bike. App controlled resistance, overbuilt frame body. Yeah, it wasn't light. So it allows you to put a ton of power into it without rocking it too badly. A massive flywheel replicates forces experience on climbs and descents. And apparently, if you pair this with say Zwift or Trainer Road, it'll recognize the road that you're going on and it'll automatically increase or decrease the resistance based off of the grade. They are an official supplier of Team Sky. And if you know why Team Sky claims that they've been winning all the Tour de France's lately is because of incremental gains in many areas. And one of those gains is on the trainer. More apps, structured workouts on Trainer Road, virtual rides on Zwift, or pair with the mobile app with Wahoo Fitness. No trainer supports more apps. Accurate power, realistic ride feel, smart resist so that your resistance or power threshold through your chosen smartphone app or computer software for the most efficient workout possible and professional grade durability. Okay, so I know that this is probably coming across quite gushy, but 
I became a fan of Wahoo, like a legitimate fan at Interbike. I like the people. I like the brand. I like where they're heading. I like Chip. I like Zach, who set this all up. And coming from a place where like a third, an entire third of my riding, if not more, is done indoors, anything that I can get that makes that indoor riding experience better, more realistic, more purposeful, more effective, I get more bang for my buck out of that training, I'm into it. They're getting very close at Wahoo to basically simulating the exact course that I can do middle of the winter in the training studio. So if you aren't yet already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and see all of the further content that I'm gonna put out, reviews, comparisons, how-tos, general further oogling of the Wahoo stuff, all that stuff. All right, later Trainiacs, supper time.